All right, now let's bring in ranking member of the Ways and Means Committee, uh, my good friend Kevin Brady, for more on rising inflation. Kevin, uh, welcome to Cudlow. I appreciate you joining me today. Good to see you, Sean. Yeah, you look great with that American flag. Hopefully that's your house uh, in Texas. <laughs> Listen, yes, I want to I talk to you about consumer price index. Uh, in July, it rose 5.4%. The producer price index was up 7.8%. So we hear some uh, economists and Democrats say that inflation is transitory. But when you see the massive amount of spending happening in government, do you see this as inflation happening year over year long term? Yeah, there's no doubt about it, Sean. So for seven months in a row under President Biden, American families' purchasing power has shrunk. So right now, prices are rising twice as fast as paychecks. And I should note, it was the opposite under President Trump. But as a result, and you pointed out, this has become the number one worry of families, but of small uh, Main Street businesses as well, because those prices continue to go up. They don't see any end in sight. And I think, well, I'm absolutely convinced President Biden's driving these prices. One, uh, clearly, uh, by just throwing trillions of dollars into this economy, uh, fueling inflation. Secondly, paying workers more to stay home than to come back to work is driving this. And then if you... If you predict what this three and a half trillion dollar just orgy of spending and tax hikes, that's going to feed more fuel onto the inflation area. And this president's been in the Fed to some degree, has it been in denial how serious a concern this is and how long term it may be. And Sean, as you know, no one wants to see inflation no. or the ex expectation of inflation take hold in America, but the White House is driving this. So one of the things we see uh, every day or every other day is when we fill up our, our, our cars at the gas station, uh, fuel costs have gone up. And you're a Texas congressman. Uh, obviously, Edward Lawrence was just talking about a, the, the big play that we have in energy in Texas. What's the feeling in Texas about oil and energy and the increase in prices? We can help. Mm -hmm. We're right here. Uh, right now, production of, of oil in America barrels is down 2 million barrels. So rather than the president begging OPEC uh, to open the spigot or now having vaulted Russia to the number two importer in the United States, look, America uh, was energy independent, can be for the long term. Why the president is uh, begging, our, frankly, some of our enemies to uh, provide us oil when we've got it American-made energy right here, ready to go. And this war on American-made energy, it just makes no sense. But but it, 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 these are families and workers and small businesses who are paying the price for this. It has a real impact on our pocketbook, but also a real impact on families in Texas. But right, I want to turn now to House politics. There's internal fighting in the Democrat Party. So we have the left-wing squad members that say they want to vote for the $3.5 trillion reconciliation package first. But now we have nine uh, moderate Democrats who say, no, 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 we actually want to vote for the $1.2 trillion inf uh, 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 transportation package. So how do you see this playing out? Democrats, Nancy Pelosi can only lose four votes uh, in the House uh, to, to pass a bill. What's going to happen? Are the liberals going to win or are the moderate Democrats going to win or are the American people going to win and none of these bills pass? Yeah, so I think, uh, Sean, I would predict right now, even though the uh, speaker is insist, if she insists on linking the transportation bill with this three and a half trillion dollar uh, spending and tax hikes, welfare state bill, uh, infrastructure will, will fail, uh, both from the Republican and the Democrat side. There's no question about it. So we're going to see over the next couple of weeks, we're going back to vote uh, next week uh, on this and the uh, the Pelosi budget, but I think uh, those nine moderates uh, absolutely understand that a vote for this budget resolution is the green light for higher taxes on families, on small businesses, and certainly it will drive U.S. jobs overseas. So for the first time, I think we're seeing these moderate Democrats understand just how damaging those tax hikes will be uh, on their communities, and they're starting uh, finally to fight back. Yeah, so listen, in 2017, I had the honor of serving with you, Kevin, uh, in the Congress, and you were the godfather of the, uh, the Tax Cut and Jobs Act, making sure that passed in 2017. And from that package, we saw remarkable economic growth. We saw wages rise across the country because we lowered taxes. We had smarter taxes in America. But now with this $3.5 trillion 
a reconciliation package, Democrats are talking about more taxes again. What are your biggest concerns on the reconciliation package and tax increases? Yes, yeah, so there, one, it is going to land on working families. Don't take my word for it. We had the second analysis now by the Joint Committee on Taxation, Sean, which you're very familiar with, that nonpartisan scorekeeper in Congress who made it clear that two thirds of those corporate tax increases will land on low and middle income families. That's the second study in a row to say the president is breaking his pledge. Secondly, small businesses and Main Street businesses are going to be hurt in significant ways. And then, and then in America itself, you know, there's no question if these tax hikes go through, foreign companies are going to eat our lunch. It is an economic surrender to the rest of the world. Uh, and there's no question it will drive U.S. jobs and manufacturing and businesses overseas, just like it did the last time Joe Biden was in the White House. And you know, you know, you're I'm from Texas, you're from Wisconsin. We know also throughout the Midwest how communities were devastated when they saw these companies pack up and move overseas. We're getting ready for another wave of that if President Biden's tax hikes go through. Yeah, so let me ask you about the, 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 the debt limit, right? So we're already using extraordinary measures. Uh, we think that, as we said, we can get into probably October with extraordinary measures before we'd run out of money to pay our debts. Are Republicans willing to use the debt limit as leverage to stop this massive spending, or are Republicans just gonna give a, bank, a blank check to, to Democrats to continue to spend trillions of dollars that we can't afford? So Republicans have made it pretty clear uh, this debt limit, one, you don't play games with the debt limit. You, you get it done. You pay your debts. And there's no question about it. But you cannot ignore the $6 trillion uh, that has been borrowed in a very short time, what that will do to our financial uh, credibility as a country, borrowing costs and all that. The debt limit should be that uh, opportunity for both parties to sit down and say, how do we start to get our financial house in order? Senator McConnell has made that clear. We need to have that conversation. But, Sean, I have to tell you right now, uh, Democrats aren't talking to any of us. Uh, they are, like the rest of their agenda, they're going it alone. Uh, and I think that's a huge mistake for, uh, for our country, especially for those of us who care about debts and deficit and our financial stability. Yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's shameful. Kevin, thank you for joining me, and thank you for uh, being a great member of Congress from Texas and fighting for free enter enterprise and free markets for America. We're all so grateful. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.